Okay, this uh, Honeywell um, programmable Wi-Fi thermostat is very neat. I put two of them here in my house. But the, what I don't like about it is when you hit this button, you have only seven seconds it's going to go out. As you see, seven, seven, seven seconds and you can barely see it. But what I want to show you here is on page number 18. It talks talk about setting uh, the system functions. So it comes uh, from the manufacturer already set with function one and zero. That's for heating, cooling, for gas, oil, electric, heating with central air. That's what I have. So I didn't have to go through the functions and set this up. But as you can read through here, and I'm going to display this to you in case you lose your manual. And function two is just for heating and pumping exchange valves. And number three is for heating and fan control. And I highlighted a few things that we're going to go through that will help you. And number five is heating cycle uh, range. And number six, heating cycle range two. And number 12, the manual auto uh, changeover. I think that's very good. It's on page 17. That means that you can set it on automatic and it will heat, it will sense the temperature that your house is and it'll automatically change over from heat to cooling. And I, and in Houston, you never know. It may be 50 degrees one day. The next day, it may be 80. So you don't know when to turn your AC on or your heat. So this will automatically do it. And I'm going to show you. We're going to go through the process of setting that. Right now, mine is set for 12 and 0, the manual changeover. So just heat, cool, and off. Let me show you right here. You see it's on heat right there. I push it again and go off. And cool so it just have heat off and cool but we're gonna go through the process of setting it to where it has automatic and that's right here and number 12 we got to put it on 12 and change that to one and I'm, we're gonna go through that on how to do that and number 13 is the smart response technology and right now, mine is on. That means if you got your temperature set, say for heating in the morning, you want it to be at 70 degrees, it would sense how long it takes to get to 70 degrees from your house. So it may come on 10 minutes before that, if it recognizes that it takes 10 minutes before it heats up to 70 degrees at six o'clock. So at six o'clock a.m., it would come on probably at 550. So that's what that smart response is. So you could turn that on and off. And number 14 is for Fahrenheit and Celsius, which I use Fahrenheit. If you're over in Canada, UK, you may want to change that to number one, which is your Celsius. Then you got your schedule options. Mine's set for 16 and one. So that's the program uh, seven days a week and you can turn that off and then you have your device that's already set up it's uh, number 36 um, you got your thermostat mine's 52 then you can turn your Wi-Fi on and off which mine is on one the Wi-Fi is on and can be connected to the Wi-Fi network if you want to disconnect it just turn it to zero so that'll turn it off if you don't want to control it with your phone. And number 39 is Wi-Fi connection. And mine is set for one. It's connect to the Wi-Fi network. This is set automatically when the thermostat is connected to the Wi-Fi. If you want to turn it off, set it to zero. It'll disconnect it from the network. And I got number 42 highlighted. It shows the period and day of the week and mines do not show on my thermostat on the home page, but if you want to, you just change that 42 and then move the arrow up or down to zero or one. You can put it on one, it'll show it on display screen right here. But number 42 show the period of days of the week. And I don't display mine on my home screen. It's just a lot of stuff on there, as you can see. I don't want it displayed up here, but you can, you just have to change that zero to one. And then number 85 is the restore schedule defaults. So you can, 
if it's on zero, it'll continue using the program programmed schedule that you have. If you don't want that, you go to 85 and put it to one. It'll restore to the thermostat program to the energy saving mode settings. And number 90, be careful with this. Uh, you, you come to 90, you set it on one. It's going to disconnect the thermostat from the Wi-Fi and restore original settings, erasing everything. So then you will have to go through the process again of setting up your Wi-Fi. So let's do a few of these right quick. <clears throat> I'm going to just hit a button so you can turn the light on. And to get to the schedule, you hit the fan and the up button. Hold it for three seconds. And as you can see, it has a one. That means the big one is a system setting type. And mine set for zero. And you can go up you see to one one will be for heat pump you go up to two you could change it to heat only but i'm gonna go back to zero so that's how you change it up and down just by the button. then you can hit the next button to go to number two let's see two is heat pump exchange valve which i don't have one let's go back See, it skipped from one to three, heat fan control. So you hit next. And we're gonna go to next is five. Remember I showed you that right there. Five is a heat uh, cycle rating. We're not gonna mess with that. We're gonna skip, skip, it skipped six, it jumped to 12. This is the one I wanted to discuss with you. It's the manual over I mean manual auto exchange, like it'll automatically switch over from heat to cool. And right now, mine is turned to zero. You remember I showed you before, it just had heat, cool, and off. Now I'm gonna change it to one. You see, I've just moved the arrow key, and one on number 12, that's, that's gonna automatically set it up. So I'm gonna just leave it at one. Then we're gonna go to the next one, it's 13. 13 is a smart response we talked about. So that is on, it responds to how long it takes for a certain amount of time. Just like I talked to you before, if you got it set for 70 degrees at six o'clock in the morning, it'll come on 10 or 15 minutes before that if it takes it that long to heat up to that temperature. So mine is on, as you can see, one. The next one is 14, mine is set for zero, it's Fahrenheit. So if you want to set it for Celsius, just move that up to one and it'll go, it'll be Celsius. So I'm going to set mine back to Fahrenheit. And the next is 16. That's your schedule option. Um, like I said, it's set, mine set for one for programming seven days a week. Then you have 36. Like I told you, that's the device. Mine is 52. You see, I got it highlighted there. It's thermostat. Next one is 38. Is your Wi-Fi off and on? We're not gonna deal with that. 38. Like if you want to turn it off, your mind should be set for one. And next one would be 39, which is one. <clears throat> and number 42, mine set for zero. That's a period and day are shown on the home screen. So mine set for zero on number 42. So mine is not shown, the period is not shown. If I want it to show on my thermostat, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to one just to show you. I'm gonna change that to one. The next setting would be 85. And 85 is your restore schedule. Um, mine is on zero because I want to continue using programmable schedule. This one, you have to be careful. You don't wanna change that to one. If you change that to one, what it wanna is gonna do is gonna erase everything, everything. So you'll start all over from scratch, and to program it. So that's all to it. So we're gonna go back when you finish. Just hit done, or you can go back to other settings. See how I can go back. Or if you finish with everything, hit done. You remember before? <clears throat> it showed right here heat. Watch. You got auto now. You see and off and cool. So you got four settings. You got cool, 
heat, auto, and off. So I, if I want to set it on the auto, now I don't have to be going back and forth changing my thermostat. Uh, whenever the heat, whenever we, you don't understand the temperature, if it goes up or down. So the auto, I really like this. So I won't have to be going back and forth turning my fan, I mean turning my AC and my heat on. All right, if this video helped, subscribe to my channel and thank you and have a great day.